Hey, good morning, y'all. So pouring into the lives of young men and women. That was the passion for Leroy Selman. The former Buccaneer passed away 12 years ago, but through his mentoring institute at USF, he's still changing lives. Hurdling always came natural for Michael Bourne the third, but he had to jump through some to get to where he is today. I got tested into a gifted program before high school, and I hated that. I got taken out of predominantly Hispanic and black school into a white one. And that that culture shock really hit me to the point where I wanted to quit. The sophomore from Virginia was hit with more of that culture shock at USF. When I first came here, my struggle was to talk to people that I didn't know. So while breaking records, now holding the fastest time for the 110 meter hurdles at USF, Bourne challenged himself by going through the Leroy Selman Mentoring Institute. Now I'm going up to people, shaking people's hands. He attributes that growth to the program. It pairs student athletes with mentors in their dream career field and helps prepare them for life after graduation. Wanting to be a pharmacist, Bourne's mentor was USF's Dr. Kevin Sneed, the senior associate vice president of USF Health and founding dean of USF's Tanasia College of Pharmacy. The assignments that we did definitely built upon that relationship. Now I'm actually going and getting shadow an hour. We meet up and it's like, are you available this afternoon for Chipotle or something like that? And we'll sit down and we'll just talk. And it's not so much him talking to me, it's us talking to each other. It's that kind of impact. Claybra Selman, Leroy's wife, says he dreamt of making on student athletes. When I hear of these things, it just makes me so proud. And, and I know that he's in heaven looking down and he's proud as well. Michael Bourne the third a now track record holder and confident mentee who's not only grateful for the Selman Mentoring Institute, but eager to prepare for life after track and field. What a talented young man. All student athletes are now required to go through the Selman Mentoring Institute. And this Saturday, USF will host the Bulls Fest. It's a fundraiser where all proceeds go toward the Selman Mentoring Institute. I get a chance to emcee this event for the second year. I'm very excited. I'll have some details for you on WFLA.com if you'd like to get involved and get a ticket.